This is Susan Sun Nanamaker with sunisfuture.net here at PV America 2013, PV America East 2013. We are here with Mr. Lawrence Mackler of the Solar Generation. Um, well, Mr. Mackler, uh, can you tell us a little bit about what your company represents and what kind of services and products you provide? Certainly. Well, thank you for the interview. Uh, we specialize in a unique uh, innovative solar structures and we specialize in transforming parking lots into solar power plants. We're the market leader in this. We've done 30 megawatts of solar uh, parking structures and we have the largest one in the U.S. for Rutgers University oh. and that's of this model, the Solar 360. And we also have the largest um, corporate installation for Dow Jones of the premium. And we've been in, we broke ground three years ago this March. And like I said, we've done 30 megawatts and we're constantly innovating to, uh, to meet the market and the industry needs. Oh, where have you covered so far? So our, our majority of our work to date has been in the Northeast, primarily New Jersey, where the SREP market uh, made, it, the, uh, make it, it made it a strong market for all. And we are focused now on California and, we're, and, and the islands, Puerto Rico, Aruba, and the different islands. Oh. Do you foresee expansion into uh, outside the USA even? Most certainly. We have a good business model, we have mm -hmm. a good product, and we understand how the logistics, and so we're looking at where the uh, next market that makes sense for it, and also creating partners in those markets where uh, we believe in local labor and as much local manufacturing as possible. Oh, that should create a lot of local jobs wherever you go. Yes. Oh, wonderful. And um, what do you think in terms of incentive and um, uh, policy and has it been uh, very uh, helpful in Jersey area to generate more installations such as uh, Solera Generations companies? Well, certainly the, the incentives and the policies are essential. Uh, mm -hmm. The oil and gas industry has their incentives and we should be giving oh, yeah. ours. <laughs> Not exactly the same playing field. No, mm -hmm. but, um, but they are essential to get a, an, an industry, a sector started and it's, it has proved successful in New Jersey. A lot of, a lot of solar was uh, created there, same with California, a lot of jobs were created and it's helped drive, driven down the cost, and we can use ourselves as a case study. When we did our first megawatt, we're at about $7.50 turnkey, mm -hmm. and today we're offering solutions in the three to $3.50 turnkey. Oh. And part of that is innovation and design, mm -hmm. and also understanding the balance of system costs and bringing those down, and by no means compromising quality or mm -hmm. service or, uh, or life cycle cost. Do you see a lot of streamlining in terms of uh, registration and installation process in Jersey? No, I, I wouldn't say this. Any, I, I can't say, speak for it, but uh, by doing it repeatedly, you understand better how the process works. All right. Ah, oh, yes. Perhaps a lot of other states can uh, learn from one another, and uh, that should be a great way. We're hoping to see more and more streamlining of all of these processes, right? We do all the soft costs and all the policy or procedures and their permitting process should be streamlined. I noticed uh, Solaire has been interestingly displayed on your uh, board here. Certainly, so mm -hmm. the name Solaire Generation has to do with uh, obviously the sun, but we selected Solaire originally because AIRE was mm -hmm. going to be an acronym for Architecturally Integrated Renewable Energy. Oh, and then also good. We managed to use the AIRE for American Independence by Renewable Energy when we received the patent for the Solar American flag. Uh, you could put your logo in it, and it clearly shows your interest in making a U.S. energy independent. Oh, I see the Walmart Supercenter, and you've covered a lot of places. Yeah, well, those oh. are those are renderings. These are this is reality. Oh, oh, <laughs> well, can you get a close enough shot, or can you see? Clearly here's our, enough. Here's a, our first installation at Johnson & Johnson, which was one megawatt. Oh, and since we've been what back, was, that was in uh, what city? That was in New Jersey. Uh, still, okay. And we, since then, we've done three more megawatts for Johnson & Johnson. We've had a good success on repeat for clients. Wonderful. This is what we would really like to see a lot of places starting to utilize. Uh, when I, whenever I land in an uh, airport, um, I tend to see a look for surfaces of all kinds and it always gets me when parking lots especially not being used and this would be a great way to go to help reduce the cost right. um, for a lot of places. It's an incredible opportunity that parking lot. Well thank you very much you. for your time and we'll be uh, uploading this onto the Sun is the Future uh, YouTube channel and signing off Susan Sun Nanamaker with sunisthefuture.net
Thank you. Thank you.